Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kareen Trent. Um, today's watercolor tutorial is an abstract um, landscape. Stormy skies, little colors here and there. I throw in some acrylic gold ink for some, you know, just spark it up. And acrylic inks are great with watercolor because they repel it and they cause all kinds of great, you know, unique, abstract, happy accidents. Um, it's great to use. You should try it in your repertoire. I always use inexpensive paints. I tell everybody that I use Cotman watercolors. Uh, Winsor Newton, um, Artist Loft, and Dick Blick to keep them cheap. Um, you, if you have expensive ones, great, use those. And I always use arches over the cheaper paper because paper, I feel like that needs to be what you need to have the most, that you're going to spend the most money on when you're doing really nice paintings. If you want to start out and use crappy paper like Strathmore, Canson, that's fine, but you're not going to get the same um, look as if you use an arches paper, especially with the wet on wet technique, it's just not going to happen. Um, people have been asking if I have a Patreon. I don't have a Patreon. Uh, I'm hoping to hit 30k to hit a membership channel on YouTube here. In the meantime, I've added a, a donate button because people wanted to donate, which is so sweet of you guys. I appreciate all your support. Um, it's in my about page and I'm throwing it on my subscription, um, excuse me, my description in my channel. Um, you can buy me a cup of coffee if you want. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, I do work hard on all these uh, videos, so it means a lot that you actually want to do that. I appreciate it so much. Um, so let's get started and enjoy some painting. Okay, for this we have supplies of Arches 100% Cotton Cold Press Paper. It's a 7 by 10 inch piece that I taped down with magic tape. I have my paints here, my paper towel, water jars up here. And I'm going to start with using my Princeton number no. 6 Neptune. It's a really big brush. You can see that by the size of the head, it's pretty big. And I'm going to get some water on this brush. A good amount of water. I'm going to start by going across the horizon and just filling in the top area with water. And here, Get this wet all across. Not super wet, but a good amount of water on the paper. We're going to grab some indigo I mixed here with a little bit of black and burnt umber. I want this darkish, bluish gray. And I'm just going to swoop that across here and down here. Gonna let that bleed up and across and here. Making stormy kind of clouds here. And I'm pushing it around down here. I'm gonna lift some of the paint up over in here. Again, I'm gonna get some more dark um, right out of the tube the indigo with some black and some burnt umber. I'm going to get a little darker in here. Just a little bit. I mixed up some orange earlier. Pinkish orange. I'm going to throw that in here. really want it kind of bright, like a yellowish orange hue. I'm going to flip the board. I'm going to tip it upside down like this and let the colors bleed up. I'll take my brush and I'll clean it off. I'll just go in and push it around a little bit, the water. Moving that paint around a little bit. I'll flip it back. Go back in and add some more. Kind of want to make the sky as stormy as you want it, you know? It doesn't have to look exactly like this. Again, I went with that darker blue, kind of down here, a deep. It's 
to leaving that pink, but I'm going to leave this deep blue. Just a stormy kind of sky. Just having fun with the colors. Go back in if that, if that orange is just dried up and become too pale. You can go back in and add some of that brighter hue. I just like to add a little color. Make the sky interesting. This is a great big brush to use. And see I'm swooping up some of the paint the brush and then going back in and adding some of that orange. And more pink. If I feel like it dried too much right there, I'll just flip it again. Take a little spray. I have a spray bottle. Just do a little spray, spritz. And it'll bleed downward like you want it to. Slowly. If you put more spray on it, it'll bleed even more. Just that intense pink. And then I'm going to go back in again because everything dries a lot lighter. Right out of the tube. Get that indigo. Some black. Some burnt umber. Once again. I want it really dark right there. A little bit more dark over in here. Just like these stormy clouds. Just keep playing around with it. Don't play around too much though because the paper will get really kind of muddy. We don't want that. So I'm taking up some of the paint here. So I think I've achieved my dark clouds. Again, go in and just add some really deep indigo. Just tapping it in. Take some up the paint. See, I'm just mopping it up like a like a mop. There you go. It's a kind of creepy. Don't worry about this part right here. We can take a brush, a clean brush. Grab some water. Just put a little water on that. Take your paper towel. And just dab and hit that. And go back in and add that deep dark color again. Oh, my camera decides to fade out when it feels like it. <laughs> so we're just going to throw in some other green tones. Um, I apologize if the filming is choppy. It's my, I film with my phone and it's saying it's overheated, so it's keep, it keeps dying out. Ugh, whatever. Anyway, you're gonna mix up some dark greens, whatever greens or whatever color you want. Doesn't even have to be dark green. You need a lot of this paint, very creamy, because this paper is saturated. In order to get in here and make this color work for you. Just putting in some really dark ones in the background here. This is just 
just a simple greenscape in the front. You can add some yellow right on top of these colors and it'll brighten right up. Even that pink color. Make it brown, see that? We'll take some of this creamy green and we'll wisp up some grasses. Now they're gonna blend because it's still wet. So if they blend too much, you might wanna wait till it dries and come back. Because really it's just kind of like a grassy field. Okay, once that's dry, we take that dark green, blackish, greenish paint. I'm using my Princeton Long Round Brush. You could make little wispy grasses. I have to get some of the paint off. From the dark areas or the lighter areas, you can put even a lighter tone. Just some wispy grasses. Down the front, you might want to make them a little bit lighter so you don't have to water it down a little bit and just make them wispy in here along where the gold is. So it looks like they were meant to be like little gold flowers. Again, you don't have to do that. For a final touch, I thought we'd put some birds in this time. So I'm just going to use some of my black paint, mix a little indigo, water down just a touch. See it over here. Tap and peep a toe, and we're going to make little seagulls. So I had some little spots left over over in here that were pigments that were left over from the paint. So I'm going to use it to my advantage. I'm going to make little seagulls. There's little V's. Birdies flying in the air. See, we went over that mistake and we created something cool. And I'll water it down and I'll put some birds in the distance over here. It's like a flock of birds. Just going up here a little bit more too. Little seagulls flying around on the stormy sky day. There you go. So you can do it, just like add in whatever you want in the front. Like I said, some grasses. And you could put a fence in there if you wanted to. Just a wired fence. Keep it simple. Don't want to overdo it too much. And add some taller grasses, see? I'm adding in some taller grasses in the front. Just wisping it up. one kind of corner area down here have fun with it it's kind of like a field in the middle of nowhere you see that and we'll take off our paint i mean tape and reveal painting So you're just playing around with color, movement, you can add some birds, you can add some trees, whatever you feel like adding. And there's our stormy, mystical 
abstract landscape. I hope you guys enjoy this t today. It's just a simple, sweet little landscape, make you feel like you're doing something special, <laughs> which you are. You're creating, you're painting, you're enjoying. Um, if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I try and do my best to get out as many videos each day, I mean, each week. You know, I do them daily, so I appreciate you guys stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm putting a lot of work into it, so it means a lot. Um, sorry, I'm making noise with the tape. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. Take care, guys, and have a great day.